Buckle up, fight fans. This one's going to knock your socks right off your feet. Did y'all hear that Gervonta Davis, AKA Tank, is allegedly on the run after supposedly receiving death threats from none other than the money man himself, Floyd Money Mayweather? Yeah, you heard me right. Gervonta's former mentor and one of the goats in boxing allegedly threatened his own protege. We know Tank and Floyd have had their fair share of drama, but none of us thought it would lead to such brutal threats. I guess Floyd was done with Tank Davis constantly taking digs at him. Gervonta Davis is now on the run from Floyd. Tank should have realized before he made those comments about Floyd. Money Mayweather has wild power in and outside the ring. I mean, we're talking about a guy who can fire referees mid-fight. Tank messed with the wrong man. Floyd's not going to have any trouble going after Tank Davis. This beef is only getting started, and there's a lot to unpack with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Before we get into the alleged beef, we got to talk about how Gervonta and Floyd even got here. Because not too long ago, these two were like Batman and Robin in the boxing world. Before I was, I was a fighter slash promoter. Now, it's just all promoting. This young man right here, natural born superstar. Gervonta Davis is one of the hottest stars in boxing right now. The man's 29 years old, undefeated, and known for his power. Like, when Tank connects, it's lights out for whoever's on the other end of that punch. But did y'all know that Floyd Mayweather had a huge part in building Gervonta's career? No doubt. Floyd was the one who took Tank's career to new heights. So it's no surprise when Floyd finally snapped, saying he's had enough of Tank's shots at him, especially after all he's done to level him up. Oh, my thing my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. And let's not forget, it was Gervonta Davis who first came out swinging, threatening to knock out Floyd in public. Yeah, you heard that right. But now, Floyd's clapped back with his own threat. And he's not holding back. The only difference? Floyd's not just talking about a knockout. He's promising that when Tank hits the ground, he's never getting back up. This isn't just trash talk anymore. It's personal. Now, before we go full conspiracy mode, let's break this down. First off, we don't have hard evidence or direct confirmation from either side about these threats. It's mostly rumored at this point, but yo, where there's smoke, there's fire right? So, what's the deal? Apparently, after the split from Mayweather Promotions, 
Gervonta was working on securing his own fights and deals. Some sources say Floyd didn't take kindly to that. I mean, he's used to being the boss. And when someone under his banner tries to break out on their own, it can get personal. It did. It started with Floyd firing Leonard Ellerbe as the CEO, and now he's sending brutal threats to Tank. There's also speculation that Gervonta and Floyd have had issues over money, contracts, and even personal stuff outside the ring. Y'all know how boxing's more than just about the fights. The business side can get real messy, especially when Floyd is involved. So what caused the fallout? Well, according to multiple sources, Tank felt like he wasn't being promoted properly. He's expressed frustrations in interviews, saying Floyd was making it more about himself than helping Tank shine. Basically, Tank was tired of being in Floyd's shadow. And you can't blame him. I mean, it's Floyd freaking Mayweather. Dude's got a larger-than-life personality. But Gervonta? He's got that same hunger Floyd once had. He wanted to make a name for himself without always being compared to Floyd or feeling like he was just Mayweather's guy. And he did. After cutting ties with Floyd, Gervonta Davis secured the deal of his life. Yep, he landed a deal bigger, way bigger than Floyd ever did. They call Floyd Money Mayweather. But right now, it's Tank making the big bucks. Floyd isn't gonna let anyone outshine him in the industry. I set you off because you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Oh. He said. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking, because I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different, or what is it to you? No, know, it just. It, Floyd don't never, he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of deal, he, ain't, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. That's exclusive, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank, don't cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. But there's more to this story than it's letting on. Tank Davis spilled the beans on what's going down. He revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right. The only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans. But Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no, he went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one. You know he the one told Frank that I was running at five o'clock. I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop out while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. Man. I don't really think too much of it. Ain't, you're not gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? So. It, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him in a bad situation. We've all seen the tension between these two for years. Tank and Floyd's rivalry has been heating up behind the scenes. And let's be real, Tank's been itching to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his former mentor for a while now. Fans have been dreaming about this clash for years. The student versus the master. And guess what? That epic showdown might be closer than anyone expected. Tank Davis just dropped a major hint that the fight we've all been waiting for could be happening this September. That's right, folks. The wait might finally be over. Get hyped, because it's about to go down.
new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Gervonta Davis's coach, Calvin Ford, gave his honest thoughts on the ongoing situation. Ford believes karma will come looking for Floyd, and it won't be pretty. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation. You know, Floyd is Floyd. That's like I say, tank is tank, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that. I always tell you that. You should be supporting that, you know. It's a rocky road that we see what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to rebuild itself, you know. But again, that's how you burn bridges. Uh, somebody said, they say the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know. Calm is the... I, mean, I, I don't like using that word calm, you know, but... Our Lord knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.